what challenges does a company like Intertrader face? So the main challenges I think we face first and foremost is to ensure that our technology works flawlessly. So we always strive to improve our technology and connectivity to our clients. We always try to improve the service we provide to our customers by understanding their needs better. And the client's needs evolve over time. So we need to continually improve our offering to our clients. Where do you see the online trading market going? Um, I, I think the online trading market, especially when it comes to retail clients, is starting to move more into an approach where the regulator will protect the client more and will stop any kind of predatory activity by brokers. It's been said that after an explosion in the popularity of spread betting, CFDs in the UK over the last decade, that the market growth has been much slower. Do you believe that to be true? Um, our recent research doesn't indicate that. Actually, the re recent research indicated that actually there's been an increase in the take of financial spread betting in the last couple of years. So um, we have not seen uh, such slowdown on our business. So do you see CFD trading market still growing or has it peaked? Um, I think there's still uh, quite a lot of room for growth in this market. There are a lot of other instruments in the market that clients are using who are much less efficient than CFDs and we will see clients moving from these inefficient instruments towards the CFD instrument who mimics the underlying market. What new fields or opportunities do you see as growth potential in the markets? Um, from our perspective, the ability to offer money managers and fund managers access to spread betting and CFD market is a significant opportunity because they are skilled and they can make money for their clients and also we all benefit from that ecosystem. What are your goals for the company over the next few years? Uh, we're looking to improve our platform quite a lot. We're looking to provide the same tools as well as other new tools that are being developed in the market to help clients uh, become more profitable. There's been a lot of development within the artificial intelligence space and we think over time this will benefit customers. So could you give us a sneak peek or a little bit of information about what the next top product is going to be? So our next products are going to be within the decision support tools and we're looking into artificial intelligence to make help clients to make better decisions over time. And are there any countries that you're going to be expanding into? Yes, we're looking to expand our activities into Central and Eastern Europe in the next few years. My question is, if you had to go back and start again, is there anything that you would do differently today? Creating internet was creating something for me for the first time. So there's a lot of things that I would have done faster in hindsight, but it's very easy to say things in hindsight when you know what has happened, how things evolved. It's much harder to take, to make the right decisions at the right time. So overall, happy with how? I have, overall, I'm quite happy with where I am, yes. How do you view the current state of the industry? I think the industry as a whole is evolving and is, in my view, evolving in the right way. We also see consolidation in the market, so you can see less players who are, more, who are larger and more robust, which in my view is healthier because the larger players in this industry can protect the client more rather than the small participants. The regulatory landscape of CFD keeps changing. Um, what would happen if, in the industry, European countries decided to limit, limit leverage of CFDs to, say, 10 to 1? Um, so I think limiting leverage is the right thing to do, and we do not promote clients taking excessive risk when trading. Yet, in my personal view, a 10 to 1 is much too restrictive, and will make the industry uh, almost non-attractive.